Let's invite the management of NCC. That stock has been buzzing lately, trading around its 52-week high on the back of being shortlisted for the Pune Metro order as well. They've also received a ratings upgrade from some of the brokerages. Mr. Vaidhi Murthy, Executive VP Finance, is with us. Uh, good morning, Mr. Murthy. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, well, uh, one of the reasons for the rating upgrade has been the fact that overall finance cost for many companies has fallen by about 100 basis points over the past one year. What's the advantage for you uh, in FY18? You see, we have been able to bring down the debt levels uh, substantially in the parent company that is in the standalone balance sheet mm. and we have also gone for the demonetization of our uh, uh, monetization of our assets that both uh, two road assets and one power asset mm. that has given us additional monies with those monies we were able to bring down the debt levels with that the interest rates also have come down our debt equity is at a very comfortable 0.5 is to 1 mm -hmm. so the rating agencies are happy mm -hmm. we have been upgraded to a category by two rating agencies that is ICRA and Fitch ratings okay. that is likely to help us in uh, improving the pricing with the lending consortium uh, that is a process that will take some time in FI 17 18 the finance cost is likely to come down by at least uh, 30 to 35, 35 crores okay uh, Mr. Murthy, good morning. You know, the market is abuzz with the uh, news that there could be some arbitration award for uh, NCC. Uh, uh, is there some truth to this? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the cabinet decision is there and that is being implemented uh, by various government agencies. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, <coughs> the National Highway Authority is concerned, we are expecting an arbitration award of about 22 crores. But some more awards are also expected, I mean payments are expected mm. after we give bank guarantees up to 75%. Overall we have arbitration awards in our favor of about 150 crores. Mm. So up to 75% of that, that is say around 120 crores, is likely to come to us over a period of time. Okay, and uh, how much uh, in, the, in the near future itself? Uh, I, I missed the number. 22. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the arbitration under underway is about 1,500 crores. The awards are yet to be uh, declared. Uh, the, that, that will take about uh, another 12 months or so. Uh, see, the, what I talked about is about the arbitration awards where the award is given but mm -hmm. money is not received. Okay. And based on the cabinet decision, now the government agencies are paying the arbitration award amount up to 75% with bank guarantee and security. Okay, so 22 crores comes right away and 120 crores very soon. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Fair enough. And of course, over the year, it could be as high as 1,000 crores. Uh, let's talk about order, sir. Pune order, uh, what's the contract size? What do you make? Uh, we got uh, one order in Nagpur Metro that we are doing. It is of the size of about 600 crores. Mm. Uh, this Pune order, uh, I have not heard of that. I'm sorry, I don't okay. have the details. But order book-wise, we are doing pretty well. We got fresh orders of nearly 10,500 crores in FI17. Uh, this more or less as per our target. And going forward in the current financial year, order accretion is likely to improve further. That includes the Balia uh, order, Lucknow uh, order? Uh, that does not include because there is a, a slowdown on that. We have been declared as L1. Mm. It's a nearly 2,000 crore uh, road contract. But the new government in UP is likely to re revisit all these things. There are about eight packages, including one given to us. So we are sitting with our fingers crossed. We have to see how things will be. Okay. What are you counting by way of revenues in the current year, sir, uh, in FY18? Uh, yeah, uh, in fact, our board is meeting on the 29th of this month to mm. discuss the business plan and finalize that. Mm. Uh, so I cannot comment on that, but uh, generally around 10% top line growth is definitely possible mm. on the FI17 numbers. Okay, and margins also will be better than this 99.2? Yeah. Uh, last year, in fact, uh, we have done about 8.8 .8 of uh, EBITDA. Mm. Uh, the current year, we are targeting EBITDA to go beyond 9%. That is definitely possible. Mm. And also top line growth of around 10%. Okay. And uh, anyway, the board will take a decision and will inform the stock exchanges. But will the net margin be much higher? Because even after EBITDA, your interest costs are likely to be lower. 
So will the net margins be a lot better? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Net margins will also improve. As I mentioned, the finance cost is likely to come down in okay. the current financial year, okay. mainly based on the rating improvement that we have got and also because the high cost debt has been repaid by us okay. and also uh, what we are looking at is the uh, Reserve Bank uh, cutting the rates and banks passing on those mm. rates to companies like Fair us. Fair enough. All right, uh, Mr. Murthy, thanks a lot for your time today. That's NCC.